Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to Hashtag BSB. Now I know it's been a long time, eh, maybe a couple weeks, since I put out a video for y'all. But honestly, my summer has been super busy so far. And not to mention, I just turned 26 last week. So my week from start to finish was super packed. Now on the last episode of Hashtag BSB, I talked about my experience with Target Test Prep. In this video, I'm going to be sharing GMAT tips based on my personal experience with my GMAT struggle journey. So let's jump right in. So just a few tips I have for you guys. The minute you decide you want to go to business school, start working on your math fundamentals. Like that is something I wish I had done. Um, prior to starting this whole journey because I feel like it would have been a lot easier. I'd have been more uh, familiar with the math concepts that are tested on the GMAT. Uh, there's a document that a few other prospective students shared with me called 1001 Math. In the entire PDF are 1001 math questions. I've done a few of the, air of the topics in the PDF um, but if you're just starting out, before you even touch a GMAT book, I would recommend finishing the entire PDF. Every problem, all 1,001 math questions in that PDF, I'd recommend that a new person just starting out just complete the entire thing. Another thing is take a practice test for each test. And by each test, I mean the GMAT and the GRE. Just to see which one you score higher on. Um, I personally didn't do that. I saw that business schools take the GR, take the GMAT, and around the time when I started this journey, the GRE wasn't widely accepted as wasn't as widely accepted as it is now. Um, so for anyone just starting out, take a practice test for both. I was given this advice far into my GMAT journey, which is uh, why in my GMAT struggle video a couple videos ago, I said that. I will take the GMAT one last time and then I'm switching to the GRE because I just cannot. Um, but anyway, take a practice test for each each test. See which one you score higher on and I highly recommend the one you get the highest score on, go with it. Invest in that test. Don't kill yourself trying to score high on the GMAT. Business schools accept the GMAT and the GRE so there's no worries about um, whether or not your score for your GRE would be accepted. Um, I will say from things that I've heard, most schools do prefer uh, the GMAT um, only because it's a business school test and they use that to gauge whether or not you can handle the curriculum. Um, but again, they will accept your GRE score as long as it measures up to their, um, their GMAT requirements. Another thing that I've heard regarding uh, the test is that for the GRE it's people who have more have a more soft skills background um, that isn't quite heavy in the slightest bit generally do better on the GRE so if you're one of those people um, I'm a program manager and while talking to a few perspective students and admissions officers like that's considered a soft skills career um, because I'm not like I do work with like forecasting budgeting and um, a little bit of strategy a little bit of data analysis but it's not my primary job um, if you have a little bit of that experience in your day-to-day -day, uh, in your in your day-to-day -day career position then you're kind of in the same boat as me it was recommended to me to take the GRE uh, because I have more soft skills um, but again it's a common for people like me to stress themselves out and go for the GMAT it's your choice at the end of the day but I'm just sharing tips with you you don't have to follow them even though it would be great if you did and you came out on top and then you could let me know like hey Brie I followed this tip um, thank you <laughs> so the gem of all tips for today from me to you is to save, save, save. Because tutors and courses are not cheap in the slightest bit. Like, do not jump into this without having any type of money saved up to dish out because it's going to hit your pockets hard. Like I said in my other product reviews, my uh, Magoosh, I got lucky 
I think I got everything under $100, the math and uh, verbal subscriptions, got those for less than $100. Target test prep was $400. Manhattan prep, their course, $1,600. But I got a discount, so it was like $1,250. Then when I did the retake, it was $400. Uh, Veritas is right up there in the over $1,000 range for an in-person course. Uh, Princeton Review as well as Kaplan like all these in-person courses or even just this I want to say the self-study platforms are also like for for Veritas Manhattan Prep and Kaplan and Princeton Review they're also in they're either reaching one a thousand or slightly above it like you're going to invest a lot of money in your GMAT study journey just save up and save yourself the stress, the money, the financial stress, the financial burden now. Also, I'd say research all the options you have available. I named a few um, because those are the ones that I stumbled across, but there's so many more resources out there. They may not be uh, the the top, they, they may not be the top programs, but you never know until you try it, i.e. waste the money on it, if it'll work for you because everybody's study habits are different, everyone's way of learning is different. So you definitely want to keep your options open. Optimus Prep isn't really a well-known tutoring company, but the one thing that drew, drew me to it was the fact that if I don't get a certain score or a certain point increase, I get my money back. Um, so. I figured it's worth a try. There there was one or two people that I asked about Optimus Prep if they knew about it and they had a good experience with it and there's a few people who didn't know about it um, but I introduced it to them. So I'll be making a video about my experience with Optimus Prep once I finish the, the 34 hour package that I, I just purchased. Oh! and. Since I just told you that I purchased it, here's an update on my GMAT journey. Just gonna slide this in in the middle of these tips. Uh, I did just submit a payment to Optimus Prep, eh, a steep amount of money, um, for their 34 hour comprehensive tutoring, one on one tutoring package. Uh, I'll be starting that in mid August. Like I said in the beginning of this video, my summer has been super busy. Um, and it, it will be super busy until like the middle of August so um, I submitted my payment now so I can secure a tutor so I can secure a tutor now and then schedule out my uh, my tutoring session starting in mid August and uh, another tip that goes hand in hand with my update invest in one-on-one -on -one tutoring or invest in some type of group tutoring if a class or the self-study platform does not work for you. I've tried the classes. Well, before that, I tried self-study. I've tried the, the GMAT module for with uh, Forte MBA launch. Did a class after that. Got a, got a tutor, but I didn't invest as much as I probably should have um, in a tutor. Let's see. Retook a class. Considered doing tutoring, but didn't have my money right at the time, so had to rethink that. Then did a, another self-study platform, and I'm still at the same, basically in the same score range. So it's been a few, honestly, it's been a few months since I've touched GMAT material. No shame in that. I needed to give my brain a break and actually think about my next courses of actions, put out some more videos for you guys, um, and also save my money um, so I can make the investment in a one-on-one -on -one tutor. And honestly, I think right now the time is right. So with all that being said, I hope you found the GMAT tips I have for you useful. Um, if you opt to use any of my advice, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, let me know how it works for you. If you have any more questions or um, any tips yourself, definitely put them in the comment box below. On the next episode of Hashtag BSB, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna start talking about my school visits. I've visited a number of schools, mostly on the Northeast, but I have ventured out to the Midwest and 
the West Coast um, to visit a few schools. So tune in next time on hashtag BSB to see which school I tell you guys about first. In the meantime, drop any questions or comments in the comment box. Again, if you have any if you have any GMAT tips yourself based on your personal experience or something you've heard from someone, put it in the comment box below. Share it with my subscribers um, and my viewers. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share it with anyone in your network that you know is going to business school. And like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you really liked it. Um, I really hope you did. <laughs> but yeah, till next time. Bye guys.